story of the necessity of an ark, they saw no need to modify or to give praise to a God who could save them in the midst. And it cost them their lives and their eternity. If the word of God is only being heard and not doing, I do have three more quick things and then we really are going to be done. If the word of God is making a difference in your life, let me share with you some things that will indicate it. Number one, church attendance. This is the ark. This is the ark. You say, I, I don't think you have to go to church to prove you love God. Really? How do you prove you love God? This is the ark. I mean, what else do we do that signifies that we love God? I believe church attendance is important. Number two, evangelism. And I'm not even saying they're not equal. You should be telling others about Jesus. You should be telling your friends, man, do you ever watch the news and get kind of worried that this thing's just going downhill? We believe it is. You should come to church with me. Invite them into the ark. You see how that makes sense? This is the ark. We need to invite our friends into the ark, the ark of safety. Number three, use your time and talents. Listen very carefully. If God's word is futile to you, your words are futile to God. If you ever write stuff down, write that down. If God's words are futile to you, your words are futile to him. Why would you pray to a God you don't really believe in? Why would you pray or make testimonies about the goodness of a God that you do not serve with your life? Why would you talk to your friends? See, that's the reason many people do not talk to their friends. It's because their life doesn't line up. And for them to talk about God living the life they live makes their friends confused. Because you cannot have fellowship. What's Belial? I can't remember the verse. I, see, I'm telling you, I forget them. They can't have fellowship. You, you, can't, you can't live any way you want for six and a half days out of the week. Come to church and say, oh, I'm in the ark. I heard the word. I heard the preacher. Does not match. To say you love God is proven, not stated. To say you love God is proven, not stated. Your life will tell the tale, and God knows. Your family and neighbors know, and most of all, you really know. Are you a doer or a hearer only? James 1.22, be doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving yourself. Deceiving yourself by thinking you're something you're not. Get ready for the return of Jesus. And if you die, you'll die ready. You'll live ready. And when he comes back, you'll be ready. Stand with me. How many of you are going to come back next Sunday unless Jesus comes between now and then? Come back next Sunday. How many of you are going to do your very best to bring somebody with you? Show me your hand right now. You're going to do your best to bring somebody with you next Sunday. All right.